Parents have been asking me today, how do I do the work with the children on Teams? And I said I was getting so many questions I would make a video to try to explain it as best I could to make it easier for you to upload the work on Teams and so it just makes it easier so you don't have to print anything out. So first of all, you need both Teams and OneNote. You, you cannot do the work if you do not have OneNote. Um, also, you can use both Teams and OneNote on your computer or laptop. Your teacher will have sent you out a username and a password, which last week you used to get onto the school website. It is the same password for this. If you've forgotten it, misplaced it, you can message your teacher on School Voice and they can send it out to you again. So first, I've got a login from a parent so I can show you what it looks like from a parent's point of view. So first thing you do is go into Teams. It'll ask you first to log in, but I've already logged in. Once you've logged in, you can see here down in the bottom left is activity. Anything the teacher posts or you've written, you can see here. And this is all public. Then inside chat, if you want to just send a quick message to the teacher, you can use the chat function. This is all private. Then and you can click Teams. These are the, the next two are the most important. So on Teams, you can click into Teams. Again, you will see anything that the teacher puts up and you can also comment on it. If the teacher has that function enabled, if it doesn't, you will have to talk to the teacher on School Voice. Also, you go into Files and in here are different folders. It depends how your teacher has set it up. But in here is the video tutorials. These are the videos made by the, all the teachers of science, maths and English. The PE teachers would have put up their tutorials for your kid to do PE. And in my class, the class materials, the MOE staff have their work inside there. Then, the question that everyone is asking me is how they actually do their assignments that the teacher has asked them. So you click assignments at the bottom. For some reason, it's not showing here, but it's usually a picture of a little school bag. So that means you know they should be doing their school work. Then you'll see what class they've been added to. They'll only be added to my class here because this is a child from my class. So click in here and press next. Now you can see all the work that I have assigned for this child to do. So then you click which one you want to do and you click here. So I'll click maths. In here, you can see week two my work, but there's a different symbol from the team symbol. This is the Microsoft OneNote app. If you don't have this OneNote app, you will click it and you will not be able to see the work. You have to edit and do the work on OneNote. So I will click OneNote now and it should change me from the application from Teams to OneNote. Okay, because I've already logged in, it will take me to my maths. So it takes longer the first time you do it. From then on, it will be much smoother and much faster. So here, here's my work. When I'm on home, I can scroll up and down and look at what I have to do. I just put them all together for this, but some teachers will have them as Sunday and then the next day, Monday, etc. If you want to write on it, you have to press the draw function. And as you can see at the top, there's all pens. All these pens, you can click them, press the little arrow. You can put the pen smaller or bigger, more than likely need it smaller, and you can pick which color. Pick a, a reasonable color so it's easier for the teacher to see. So I'll just pick, I'll keep it at the standard black. Okay, when I go into that, I can edit my document. So I can go, I'm only using my finger now, but if you have something thinner, it will be much easier to write on. So I can just write my name, Mr. Okay, once I've written that, if I'm not happy with it, there's the, there's the rubber next to it, and I can just erase or rub out what I have done. This is how you complete it. But if you want to scroll down the document, you can press home and just scroll down further. 
and then once you've completed everything it will save it but you need to go back into Microsoft Teams and once you've done that you can see in the top right corner up where it shows the battery this says hand in when you press hand in the teacher will get a message to say that you have finished your maths for this day and the teacher can correct it, edit it and return it to you. So I hope this clears up some bit of confusion on how to use Teams and make sure you practice. Thank you.